Chapter Thirteen: Smart Charts. What are you doing with these colorful beads here, Apu? Well, I'm trying to make a chart, Priya. A chart? What is a chart? Well, let's watch this video to learn how to make data charts. When you make a table, you make one column that shows the category and another that shows the number of things in that category. So here I have a column for the color of the beads, and here is a column for the number of beads. So first, let's count the number of beads of each color, and we'll write it in a chart like this. We have six red beads, so that's color red, number of beads six. Then we have nine yellow beads. The color is yellow, and the number of beads is nine. The next one we have seven green beads. The color would be green. The number would be seven. The next one we have eight blue beads. So that would be blue in the color and eight for number. Isn't this an easy way to present your data? Now let's fill in this table by looking at this image. Let's first identify the different animals and write them down. Now we have dogs, cats, giraffes, elephants, and rabbits. Let's count the number of animals in each category. So now we have six dogs here. Let's put six under the dogs over here. We have seven cats, so that goes seven under cats. Four giraffes, so that's four under giraffes. And elephants, we have three, so that's three elephants over here. And nine rabbits. So you're right. That was pretty easy, huh? So let's do one more. I have some names of Priya's friends and what pet they would like to keep at home. Now we have Adi, who likes cats. Joey, who'd like to keep a dog. Farah, who'd love to keep a parrot. Pooja, who would also like to keep a dog. George would also like to keep a dog. Gia would like to keep a cat. Sana would like to keep a parrot. So let's fill up this chart by drawing faces according to the information we have. So here we'll chart the number, and here we have names of different animals that Priya's friends would like to keep as pets. So let's begin. Let's count how many would like to keep cats. There's one, two. So let's draw two smiley faces here. How many would like to keep dogs? One, two, three. So we draw three faces above dogs. How about parrots? There are two for parrots, so we'll draw two faces here. This is another way of representing information. Why don't you try and represent information in a different way from what you've learned right now? So keep trying and keep practicing that, and I'm sure it'll be loads of fun. We'll see you later. Bye bye.